Hey y'all, hey. Let me just move over, cause clearly my ring light and phone, I want it to be hands free, trying to be all hands free, I'm all cricket. <laughs> hey Audrey, how are you? Good to see y'all, good to see y'all. Happy Monday, how y'all doing? How's it going? How you feeling? Hey Ashanti. How are y'all doing? How's it going? What's going on with your Monday? You know, I'm here at her power space as usual, where I spend my days and some nights and lots of weekends, which is awesome, here in Broward County, Florida. Um, I'm in uh, Lauder Hill, which is near Sunrise. And actually, I came on to talk about Google reviews and getting testimonials because a lot of people tell me they feel really uncomfortable tooting their own horns, right? Is that you? Like, do you feel like you're bragging if you tell people how fucking awesome you are? Like, excuse the F-bomb if that offends you. And that's the other part of what I wanna talk about. Um, you know, if you are someone who doesn't feel like you should be tooting your own horn or you feel uncomfortable telling people, hey, I'm great, I rock, any of those things, then this is definitely the live you wanna stick around for. And the reason I say that is because sometimes we just need to get other people's words out there on our behalf. And that will, one, help us our own muscles because we'll be like, dang, yeah, I am this shit. Like, they are telling me that I'm awesome. They're saying I'm awesome. They're telling other people I'm awesome. And two, it will get the word out there for you right? So testimonials and Google reviews are clutch in getting new business because that's how we do it. I mean, how many things do you buy on Amazon without looking at at least a few of the reviews? Like I always look at the fives and I always look at the ones, right? And I want to see like, what are people saying about this product before I buy it? Well, as entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, side hustlers, we are definitely now up to you know, open to, hey, legendary LG. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, so yeah, so definitely you are the product now, right? So whether you sell products or services, people will be looking at reviews for how you've delivered on what you've promised. So I wanted to pop in, but before I talk about that, I wanted to take a second to say, I watched this weekend, right? There were a few women's events happening around the country this weekend, and you may have seen them as well going down your timeline. People were hashtagging, people were sharing the lives, people were sharing their experiences, and it was really in some ways inspirational for me because some of the folks have been in the grind for like a decade, and this was one of their biggest events ever to date, right? And then there were others that were, you know, just getting started and just happy to be back out and interacting with each other. And I was watching some of them and really important, and this is actually gonna talk to the reviews and testimonials, is that knowing who your audience is, is clutch. Knowing who you serve, knowing who your ideal customer is, is so important. Hey girl, hey Michelle. So when you are, putting your products and your services out there, when you know who your ideal customer is, you can speak directly to them, which is why I said F word, like I said fuck a minute ago, right? My, my audience is not gonna be the person who sends me an email, this is a true story, who sends me an email because I have a template that's called the best damn emails you'll ever send, right? And she sent me an email. She got these templates for free. She signed up to my email list. I sent her these free templates and they're emails that help you get whatever you want. You can get referrals. You can um, ask people to come on your podcast or your uh, blog or whatever that is, right? So I'm giving her five free email templates. And you know what she did? <laughs> she, she sent me an email that, that said, I was really, you know, wanted to reply to your email and I saw this really cute cover that would have been cute if it didn't have the word damn in the title. I can't affiliate with anything that has the word damn. I know you saw when I posted that, right? That was so funny to me. Like, I am still laughing. Like, the post, like, damn. 
Aaron, she saw, she saw when I originally posted that a couple of weeks ago and my timeline was like, oh, fuck up. Like, and that's the reality. And they were like, damn, damn. And that's knowing your audience, right? That's when you know the people in your audience who are for you. And I kindly replied to her and said, hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please allow me to do so for you. She is not my ideal customer, right? And while I don't go around cursing like up a storm all the time, if you're someone who is that uncomfortable, if I have that type of language, then I know you're not for me. Even if you want and need the services I provide, I am not the right service provider for you. Okay, so that does speak directly to getting reviews, getting testimonials, because you want to especially ask the folks who are your ideal clients, who are your ideal customers, who pay on time, who pay without questioning and nickel and diming you, right? There are people who I send four and five figure um, invoices to and they send a check right? And then there are people who I'm like, this is a $17 or free ebook. And they're like, oh, I have a problem with this, right? So that's again, knowing who your ideal customer is. So back to this weekend's events. So there was like three and four day events, women's empowerment events. It's outside is opening back up. I'm hosting a retreat in November here in Hollywood Beach, which I'm super excited about. You can learn more about that um, at the link in my bio. It's the ROI cubed ROI three retreat, right? And that's a return on investment, a return on influence and impact. And I can't wait. So this weekend I was watching some other events going down my IG timeline. And in some of the instances, I noticed that whew, the women were like decked to the nine the entire weekend. It was like Louis, Gucci, Prada, Fendi. It was uh, six inch heels. It was like really just like very well put together at this hotel resort where you're spending probably like six to seven hours sitting at a, at a conference room table or a table in an event hall, right? And I think that's beautiful and that's awesome and I love to see it, but I would have been exhausted, right? I would have been stressed out just packing for that trip because in my mind, I feel like we're all kind of like, oh, what's she wearing? Who she got? What's the bag? Does she have the Birkin? Is it the baby Birkin or is it the big Birkin? You know, that kind of thing. And there's totally nothing wrong with that if that's your crowd and if that makes you feel empowered as you're moving about the planet, that's beautiful. But everybody isn't like that. And everybody doesn't feel comfortable or even desire to get information to sit at a table and know that they're wearing six inch heels, right? Or, well, sitting is probably the best time to wear six inch or five inch heels. But the bottom line is this, that when you are reaching out to people, when you are positioning yourself, when you are marketing, it's extremely important that you know your audience. It's imp extremely important that when you go to events, that you're sure that they align with who you are and what makes you feel comfortable. Because when you operate and move about spaces, especially if you're an ambivert and leaning toward introversion or an introvert outright, you really get your energy from being by yourself. So if you are going to be around people, you need to be the most comfortable you can possibly be. Okay, so that was just my little piece that if you come to the ROI Cubed Women's Retreat in November, wear your slides, wear your jeans. I usually actually have on jeans as I'm here at the space when I'm here at her power space throughout the day, right? I am a co-working space and most co-working spaces, I'm sitting at my desk, I'm helping people. I'm sometimes moving furniture around for events and for people to be able to host their clients and customers in the space. So I usually have on like flip flops and and jeans and and things like that right so I need people to want to come in here who are comfortable seeing me in that presentation on a day-to-day -day basis that's how I move about right and so I just wanted to pop in here now to talk about Google reviews and testimonials how many of you guys get Google reviews for your business how many of you are on Google my business I guess I should start there Ashanti what if you don't know your audience how do you figure that out I think that's a great question Ashanti so there are a few things to do you can work 
backwards. So I'm going to take a minute to answer Ashanti's question because I think that question comes up for me a lot when I'm working with my clients, especially around marketing and branding, because most of us, well, like I sell teas, right? I sell tea so uh, I can go ahead and serve everybody in the population who drinks tea, right? And that's one way to go about it, right? That's a Starbucks approach, but most of us are not Starbucks yet. And even Starbucks started by looking at a very niche coffee market, right? It's who is willing to spend seven, eight, five dollars on a cup of coffee? Who values what you're selling, right? So know what you sell, know the value that you offer. I, I am the founder of Her Power Moves. We are a community of women, right? We connect, collaborate, and create cash flow unapologetically. I'm also the founder of Her Power Space, a woman forward, men welcoming co-working space here in Sunrise, Florida, Lauder Hill, Florida, right? I do not sell space. I do not sell Her Power Moves, right? I sell the difference between isolation and confusion and community and clarity for women entrepreneurs, right? I sell community and clarity, right? So I know that it's not about the product or the service, it's about how my end customer feels. Now, once you know what it is you want your customer to feel, then you can craft language that attracts who you're interested in serving, right? That's how you identify who your audience is if you're not sure who your ideal is yet, right? And of course, I teach on how you go deeper and you know who that person is, demographics and psychographics, like what are their stats, but also what makes them make a purchase, right? Because a woman in her, I'm 51, right? So I'm a 51-year-old woman with 30-something-year-old kids, but there are 51-year-old women who have 10 and 15-year-old kids still at home. The conversation that you might have with each of us is very different, even though we might be both black, we might be both educated, we might be both 51 years old, but boom, you get to the kids part, depending on what you're selling, the verbiage that you use would look very different for us, right? So that's why you need to know what you're selling, know what the value is, not not the thing, not the product, not the consultation, not that. It's how it is that you make your customers feel at the end of the day that is what you're selling, okay? So hopefully that answers Ashanti. Yeah, Google reviews are amazing. I know you get 4.8. I have five star reviews, right? For her power space. And I'm so thankful for that. So I wanted to pop in and give you a couple of, I actually wrote tips down, y'all. That's how serious I am about this because I shared a testimonial that one of my clients um, gave for me in today's email that I sent out to my community. And I use, and this is one of the ways that I do this, is I actually use automated video requests. So I use a service where I record a video of myself that says, hey, I would really appreciate if you would leave me a review for XYZ service, right? That can be used over and over and I can personalize the front of it and just keep using, reusing the middle part where I'm asking review and when they receive it if they get it on their computer if they get it on their cell phone all they have to do is reply they don't even have to download an app or software or anything they just reply and can record themselves at any moment when they feel comfortable right there on your phone right on their phone so that is a really low-hanging fruit way there is nobody who doesn't have their phone on them pretty much at all times in the bathroom i mean like let's be real i saw a shower curtain where they have the slots for your phone and your ipad i'm like lord please don't let me take my phone into the shower that would be a lot right so that is a really low-hanging fruit way and personal right we love video and this person i get to say at the front of it hey ashanti this is Michelle, will you please give me a Google review? I'd so appreciate it, right? So I just wanted to say that is, can you guys see me? Did it just, cause it just did something real funky. Let me know if you can't, yeah, well, if you can't see me, you can't let me know, but let me know if you can see me cause it says I'm still live, so I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, so people are still joining. Something happened, I guess it, it just kind of went dark. 
but okay good 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 okay great so you know so that is really a great way using video technology and let me tell you video is powerful because then you can share it still but it's not your words it's not you yourself if you feel comfortable telling people how awesome you are if you feel uncomfortable telling people how awesome you are then you would want to go ahead and use other people's words another way is that you Again, remember we said, be on Google My Business. That is really important. And if you don't have a business address and you don't want to use your home address, you can use a co-working space like Her Power Space where we actually accept your business mail for you and you can use it as your business address for Google My Business, for Yelp, for you to not have a pin drop on business pages on top of your home, right? Because if you use your home address and for Google My Business, it will actually show the satellite and all of that of your actual physical home. And most people clearly don't want to do that. Okay, so you're on Google My Business. You can also, if people, if you have a brick and mortar space or you're interacting with people on Zoom or face to face, you can actually record them there. You can turn on the camera. If you go on the Her Power Space Google reviews, you will see that there are video of people sitting in that chair right there talking about their interaction with me as a consultant with the space as for their business, right? So again, that's powerful. That's again, you sharing it, which helps if people may drag their feet, right? Because you're making it easier for them. You're taking all of the friction out of them having to share their testimonial for you. Okay, so those are some of the ways that you can actually extract that and on powerful platforms such as video. Another thing I want to um, say is that you can actually, at the time of delivery, as soon as they get it, send an email. We have something called drop-ins here. You can come and get on the Wi-Fi for $25 a day and just drop in. You don't have to be a member. Anybody can come in and just get on the Wi-Fi work while we're open and go in and out, get their food, come back, whatever that is, right? And that is 25 bucks a day and that's considered a drop-in. Well, of course, everybody who uses the space, I get their email addresses. And this is going without saying that. Number one, you're on Google My Business. Number two, you're getting people's email addresses when you're working with them, right? And then I send a follow-up immediately. There's an automated email as soon as they get imported into my email service provider that goes out and says, hey, we were so happy to have you in this space. Just click here, please. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And I have a little simple survey as well as a link to Google reviews. Again, just automating it, making it easy, one click for them. They write something up right when they've had the experience. And speaking to the experience, that means that you have delivered above and beyond, right? So it goes without saying that you're delivering above and beyond that you're on Google My Business or Yelp or both or some other provider for your industry where people can review you and that you are delivering service that is way above and beyond what their expectations are, right? And if you don't, if you miss the mark, ask them because people also love to give bad reviews, right? So you want to find out exactly where they stand so that you can maybe correct it before they go and hit the Googles and the Twitters and every place else, right? Another really easy thing that you can do is put in your signature block. You can put a link to your Google right in your signature block. My signature block rotates based on what it is that I have going on at that time. So when we had our anniversary, January, I had a click. You can watch the video of our anniversary, right? Celebrating our first year opening during a pandemic for a brick and mortar space, right? So you can put that link right in your signature block. So it goes to every person you email. And literally people will reply to emails that I send. And I'm not even thinking about my, my signature block has this call to action saying, hey, check out this video. Hey, have you registered for the ROI Cubed Women's Retreat? treat yet. Whatever that link is that I want people to be directed to in my signature block, people reply to me and say, oh, Michelle, I watched your video. That was so great. And in my mind, I'm like, what video? Oh, the signature block, right? They literally feel like I've said to them directly, hey, check this out. And it's just something that is in my signature block, whether I'm sending it from my phone, update your signature on your phone, 
or I'm sending it from my laptop or any other device, right? So I wanted to just give you those ideas and the final bonus ideas. Were these helpful to you? Let me know if these were helpful ideas for you and drop any that you have yourself that I haven't already shared. The last thing I wanted to give you as a bonus is to incentivize people giving you testimonials and reviews. And that means you can offer discounts. You can, you can offer affiliates, right? So for the women's retreat that I'm hosting here in November in Hollywood Beach, I am I have selected a handful of women in our community, right? Who, if they share the opportunity with the women in their community, they get 15%. They get a percentage of every sale I make, right? Because that incentivizes them, they were gonna share it anyway. And a lot of them just go, don't even worry about the, the link, Michelle, just I'll go ahead and share it, right? So think about ways that you can get as many testimonials, written form, verbal, email, ask people if they send you an email, if you can share it, and then also give incentives get a discount, refer a friend. We've all seen these things in action out and about in the marketplace, right? But incorporating them into our business is really helpful and will help us expand our footprint. And that's the key. We want we need more people to know about us so we have more opportunities to market to them and then have the sale. Because the bottom line in business is we are all business people, right? You're welcome, Nisi. You're welcome, Joe. Thank y'all for being here. Hopefully this was helpful. My name is Michelle Tauber. I'm the founder of Her Power Moves, where women come to connect, collaborate, and create cash flow unapologetically. And if you're here in South Florida, I am the founder of Her Power Space. We are the first Black woman-owned co-working space, podcast studio, business mail call center. We are the first business center and co-working space in Broward County owned by a Black woman. And that Black woman is me. So thank you all for being here. Here. I hope to see you again soon. And send me, hey, if you do business with me, make sure I get that Google review uh, request. I'm going to be looking for it. All right. Y'all have a great day.